So you got into the business. Mm -hmm. Someone introduced it to you and you found it lucrative. Yes. And so when did you reach the point where you said, hey, I want to develop a course about this. I want to develop a class. I think when I crossed over six figures, less than six months, I'm going to go ahead and start a class. I'm going to go ahead and educate people and let them know that there's dedicated contracts that you can put on your box truck and you can make over six figures less than six months to a year. It's been very So do, do you own the truck or do you lease I the don't. truck? That was another thing. I don't own the truck. I rent the truck. I rent the truck through Ryder Enterprise. So it's your truck. It's just a rented, not owned. Exactly. Yeah. And how many trucks do you own or rent? So I started off with one. When it gets busy, they, they'll ask me to, can you rent another truck? Can you have a team? Can your team run two trucks? So right now we have two trucks. And then when it slows down, we turn that truck and just have that one truck. The good thing about renting is if the truck breaks down or tire oil change or this or that, guess what? You get to go ahead and turn that truck back in and get a new one. But it's costly. <laughs> it's costly. It's, it, it, it costs more to rent. But however, coming into the business, I didn't know how things were going to go. So I just went ahead and rent, rented the truck. Now that I'm in the business, this year, we are definitely going to purchase the truck. It's, it'll cost down tremendously. So... Well, I could see that making sense, renting at the beginning, particularly since you're not a trucker by development. You didn't start off being a trucker and, okay, I know how to get things repaired. I got storage and, and things of that nature. Renting is the way that you can go. A lot of people get discouraged when they get into the business. Um, mm -hmm. They come into the business thinking that they have to purchase a truck. They have to go and get this, have money and do financing. To be honest, the startup cost for this business was anywhere between six to $7,000. And that was getting my insurance. I still have to get insurance for the trucks, even though I'm renting the trucks. And I had to buy tools for the truck for my drivers and helpers to have when they're assembling and disassembling and installing things. So right. they have to have those tools and paying for background checks to build the team. Yeah. So how did you find that? That's it to me seems like the most difficult part of it all. Once you have the contract. So honestly, we tap into family and friends first. Right. That's always, always the sales method is tap into your family and friends first and then go out and do your uh, cold calling <laughs> and putting out the, the, re the job ads and things of that nature. So we started with family and friends. We started with family. They were interested, got them going. Then they brought in some of their friends. So it's just, that's how we started. I do have a student that have taken this class. I think she, it was in November. She took the class and she already has her truck on the road. And she actually put out, so she were able to find a driver and a helper. Has it been challenging? Of course, because you don't know these people, but it's been working out. It's, it's, it's working out for her. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. you're saying that you're looking at about startup costs, about six, 7,000, which isn't too bad to start a business. And these are some of the things that you talk about in your class. Yeah. So the, the class is a blue, it's a blueprint. It's a mm -hmm. blueprint of from A to Z of how to get started, my experiences, and I'm sharing the contracts that I have. And then I'm sharing also a list of 50 contracts that you companies that you can call to secure contracts with. Okay. So I'm giving everything. I'm not holding anything back. This is not a class where you come and then you get an upsell to come to a different class and all this. But then I also do have a mentorship because what's happening as much as I give all the information in the class. Some people don't even have time to take the time to go and do it themselves. You build their business entity mm -hmm. as far as getting their LLC, their EIN number. You need a DOT number. You need an authority number. You need to call and secure the contract. You need right. to keep, because like I said, it took me six months to actually get my contract secure. But now I'm in the business. I have contacts. I know who to call and who, who not to call. So I can get to people a little bit faster.